we're going to take a look at some blockbuster trades ahead of the 2023 NFL trade deadline as, hey, maybe the Titans are going to buy some players, not sell some away. We're going to talk about blockbuster trades that way, along with maybe some selling options, but we're going to go with five of them on today's show. Rolling here on Titans Today. My name is Jace Andrews, and you're watching Titans Today. We appreciate you, as always, as Guess what? We got a nice video for today as trade deadline, just a couple days away. We're going to talk about five blockbuster trades that I could see happening before this Tuesday's deadline. The first one we've mentioned one time on this show, but I want to bring it up again because I think it may have gotten drowned out by the Kevin Byer trade. Well, this is one that I think maybe could happen, especially now that you have Will Levis starting this upcoming Sunday. The Titans trading for Kyler Murray. Titans would receive him. Cardinals would receive Malik Willis a 2024 second-round pick, and a 2024 fourth-round pick. If Willows performs well, if he performs bad, well, either way, maybe Kyler Murray is the one you trade him because if he performs well, well, you don't need Malik Willis. If he perform, performs bad, well, you need a quarterback. So there you go, Kyler Murray. And here's the thing. You think, okay, well, isn't Kyler ready to go back and play with the Cardinals? Yeah, but it seems as though they're kind of ready to move on from Kyler. This is coming from Dan Grazino earlier in this year saying, the outside speculation the word I get when talking to agents and executives from other teams, is that the Cardinals likely will move on after this season. Again, that's speculation, but there are common sense reasons to speculate that way. And he goes on in that article to say that the Titans, well, they were identified as a team to watch for getting Kyler. Now, that was largely impact to the questions around Tannehill, which were obvious now because due to touchdowns, six interceptions, an injury, you drafted Will Levis, what's going on at the quarterback position? Well, maybe Kyler Murray could be the issue solver, could be the guy to bring in and say, hey, let's try this. We haven't said something like this. We've just kind of stuck with Tannehill for a while. Could the Titans make a move for Kyler Murray? Well, let me know in the comment section of today's video if you think they could. Well, then type T. If you think, nah, that's not going to happen, and I don't even want him, if so, he doesn't seem like a great teammate, and overall doesn't fit the play style of Mike Vrabel, then type P for pass. But overall, let me know what you're thinking. I think this is a good discussion to have among Titans fans. Type T for trade, type P for pass. Do you think the Titans could make a move for Kyler Murray? The next trade we have is the Titans trading away Derrick Henry and getting back from the Chiefs, Clyde edwards Hilaire and a third round pick. So Derrick Henry going to Kansas City, but you get a first round talent in, Cle in CEH along with an extra draft stock trip pick there. Clyde edwards Alaire over the last three years, well, it's been subpar for a guy who was drafted in the first round. Late first round, that being out of LSU. But again, these stats show that he has some prowess. He knows what he's doing. And honestly, back in 2020, he looked really good. He's actually performed well as a receiving back role as well. I think overall, if you look at those stats, you could probably get good value for this. I think that's the thing you got to take away. Clyde edwards alaire is certainly a guy that I would think could go hand-in-hand hand with Tajay Spears if you're getting rid of Derrick Henry. He's still young. Tajay's on a rookie deer. I mean, that could be a one-two punch kind of thing where I know you've had Derrick Henry as your number one running back for so long, but hey, what about a two-RB system? Plus, it's first-round talent here. You're getting a guy who was projected to be a star in this NFL, and well, guess what? He just hasn't lived up to the expectations, which... Again, maybe it's sometimes just a need for a change of scenery. I've seen that multiple times, and maybe that Titans team could do exactly that, bring him a little closer back to SEC country with his LSU roots. Well, I tell you what, with BetUS, you're going to get a 125% deposit bonus, and here's the thing. With Derrick Henry possibly being traded, well, you can go on to BetUS, go to chatsports.com slash bet, use chat125, get a 125% deposit bonus, and go put some money on Henry's next team. Here are the odds. You have the Bills at plus 200. The Chiefs, that's the trade we're talking about, plus 250. The Dolphins right behind them at plus 300. And then dropping down from there by 200, it's the Cowboys at plus 500. I'm telling you, if you think he's going to leave, well, man, well, may as well go try and make some money again. It's kind of the same adage of uh, if the team's not performing well, well, let's go throw some money around and see what happens. That can make you feel a lot better. Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code CHAT125 for a 125% deposit bonus. Again, there are the odds. Hey, if he's going to leave, may as well make some money off of it. Let's go look at another potential blockbuster trade. And we've kind of mentioned this one on the show before, but Young to the Titans. What about Chase Young? 
bring in a defensive level guy to a defensive line that really is already, I would say, upper tier. Plus, again, this defense just lost Kevin Byard. You get this kind of defensive line guy who is performing really, really well this year with five sacks in six games, 14 tackles. He looks like a guy who, well, would fit perfectly into this Titans defensive line. He's had injury problems the nine games in 2020 and then in 2021 and then three in 2022. But guess what? You have Jeffrey right there. You put him on the other side and take out Danico. Well, that becomes one of the most scariest offensive lines in the entire NFL. I'm telling you, it could honestly work. And the problem is, I don't know if the commanders are willing to give up Chase Young. And it's kind of surprising they haven't extended him, but they didn't pick up that option. So I think you got to talk about it. You got to think, you got to say, what could happen? Would you trade for Trace Young? I want you to let me know in the comment section of today's video. Type Y for yes or type in for no. It's an interesting trade topic because it's a defensive player. And well, after trading Kevin Byard, I don't know what this Titans team is thinking about doing. If you want to pay a player for the future, here's the thing. Chase Young is a proven guy. You get him in this year. You pay him this offseason. Then you get draft picks from other trades. I kind of like that. Prepare for the future with a guy who's young and ready. Type Y for yes. If you would trade for tra tra Chase Young, type in for no. Let's put another blockbuster trade here in this one with sending DeAndre Hopkins to the Jacksonville Jaguars and getting in advance a second round pick. I like this one because I think you could, you could get a second round pick for D-Hop. Overall, he's a guy who has that talent level of a guy who, well, maybe hasn't been up to par the past couple years, but I mean, he's a guy who is prolifically one of the top wide receivers in the NFL. In fact, over the past two years, his yards per catch, well, they rank 26th among all active wide receivers. Yeah, that's pretty dang good if you ask me. Plus, if you go back to 2020, that 1,000-yard season when he got to play the entirety of the season, I'm telling you, when this guy's healthy and can play at full strength, he is one to not mess with. Now, the thing is, you would be giving him up, but that's why I think he's worth a second-round pick. The money contract wasn't really working great in terms of the signing bonus. You have him next year. If you don't think he's going to help you next year and you want something in return, now's the time to get it. Get that second-round pick now because you're going to get him more value now than you would next year. So I kind of think that would work. Plus, Jacksonville, they don't have a necessarily great wide receiver one. They have Christian Kirk. They have Calvin Ridley, but those two haven't really been amazing. Well, I'll tell you what. Make sure you're subscribed as we're going to be on top of all the Titans trade coverage here over the next couple days. It's coming down to the wire here, and we'll see whether or not the Titans make a move, whether they sit quiet. Either way, we're going to have you covered, so hit that red subscribe button. We're going to have you updated, and you'll be the first to know about any Titans trade news. Hit that sub button right now and join the Titans today community. Let's go into another trade here with the Titans getting a wide receiver and trading away Ryan Tannehill. Yes, I saved the most blockbuster one of them all for the end here as Kendrick Bourne, a wide receiver who has performed well that we've mentioned here and there, but I don't think we've dove, dove too much into him because, well, why would they give him away the Patriots? What if you gave them Ryan Tannehill? They're done with Mac Jones. I mean, yeah, he looked good this past week against the Bills, but is that a fluke? What's going on there? I honestly think this could work, especially Mac gets hurt. I, they don't really have too much in the backfield. Malik Cunningham, they pulled up on the practice squad. Are you really going to start him? I don't think so. Kendrick Bourne has been a pleasant surprise this year for the Patriots and ultimately the entire NFL. 10.9 average, the three touchdowns on top of that. He looks like a guy who really could fit well with Mike Vrabel's offensive kind of play style he likes to run and kind of go with it. 10.9 again average, really good overall. He would work well, plus who knows? Will Levis performs well this upcoming Saturday, or Sunday rather, to mold? That could work. Would you accept this trade? I want you to let me know in the comment section of today's video. Kendrick Bourne coming to Tennessee. Ryan Tannehill finally leaving. Dear gosh, please trade him away to somebody. I don't want him anymore. Would you accept this trade? Let me know. Please get Ryan Tannehill out here any way possible. In fact, at this point, just give me a bag of Cheez-Its and I'll give it to you. If you love the Titans, make sure you like the video. We appreciate you watching and make it to the end as always. I know it's a tough time right now. Titans not doing great, but hey, brighter sides are ahead. We appreciate you as always. And we're going to keep growing this channel with content every single day. So make sure you join the channel right now and be a part of the Titans Today community.
Peace out.